Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Janine with Junkin' with Janine. Before I get to this awesome goodie bag, don't forget to subscribe down below and like. I'm new, I need all the likes, all the subscribes I can get, so let's have some fun. So last week I was really disappointed that the Goodwill Jewelry Blue Box shop goodwillbluebox.com on Fridays at 6 p.m. Eastern time was sold out by 601. So for the second week in a row, I did not get a jewelry box. And I was really bummed, so I was like, oh my God, I need a fix. So I figured out a fix. So I went on just shopgoodwill.com and I found our local Goodwill, which is Northeast Florida, because I live in Jacksonville, and I sorted by their auctions, and then I sorted by buy it now. And I found that our local Goodwill was doing grab bags also. So I paid buy it now, $24.99 for a bag, and it says it's 5.83 pounds, okay? And I was so excited, and I went over there to go pick it up, and I... And I double deflated because they said, oh, we only do appointments on Mondays through Thursday or Fridays between 10 and 2 and then we schedule them every half an hour due to COVID and you know blah 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 all that crap and I'm like oh my god I just need a fix this is Monday and I just bought some jewelry and I want to play with it and they said nope 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 come back Thursday at 2 and I was like no excuse me 11 Thursday this is four days from now I need the jewelry anyway I had to wait and let's hope it was worth the wait guys so, so we're gonna get right into it and basically, I did already tear this open just because I didn't want to have to grapple with the tape on, um, on our video. So, let's go ahead and dive in. Now, I don't know a whole lot about jewelry. I'm new. I just started doing this and it was really kind of fun. And so, just go with me here. If I, if I make some mistakes, let me know. Comment below, let me know if I missed something. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start with like the biggest things here. These are some chunky things with a ribbon tie. Um, there is no maker's mark. I don't know what they are. Are they a nut? They're light, they sound hollow. Or are they plastic? I don't have any idea. Oh, one other thing. If you want to buy something from here, I am going to be listing things on Poshmark. I only sell on Poshmark. Or if you want to actually buy something here, let me know you're interested in it. We'll make a deal. I like deals. I like jewelry deals. Anyway, so you can always comment below on the video and um, we can make a deal. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I don't know if I should sell them or put them in a craft lot. Um, they're not really exciting me, so I'm gonna put them in a craft lot, which I've already made a box. All right, next piece. What do we have here? We have a three-tiered multi chain necklace. There is a mark on it and I don't know what this mark is, but um, I know it's got to be in the files. I don't know if we can zoom in on that and see it at all. No. Okay. Um, but I will let you know in the comments if it's anything it's your basic they're heavy they're cute i could sell those beads okay so that's in the sell it pile all right what else are we going to get into Ooh, this is what my great my great my granddaughter likes to oh gosh we've got another set of these things all right so we already made one decision craft pile so i don't have to think about it craft pile all right, so my granddaughter, Charlotte, she likes to play in jewelry, too, and she's only, like, 20 months old. And this is so much fun for her and me. So 
All right, what we have here, I think, is, man, that's a choker, I would say, because you have to use the last link, and it's not a very um, wide neck. So they're in good shape. They're gold beads. They appear to be plastic, no maker's mark, but we can sell those. Okay, let's look at this bracelet here. This bracelet has like faux pearls. I do see some missing, I believe. Um, that's a shame. It's got a nice clasp. It's heavy weight. Um, let me see if there's any maker's mark. I do not see any maker's mark. But again, it is missing some of the beads, so we're just gonna go ahead and put that in a craft pile. And, okay, oh, here's another one. Oh, this is such a shame that these beads fall out because those are really pretty. That's a really pretty combination of coral and turquoise color. Again, it has this nice clasp, no maker's mark. Uh, gotta put it in a craft because it's got Plenty of missing little beads. In fact, I think they're falling off as we speak. All right, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. This is cute. This is asymmetrical. Appears to be a lucite kind of leopard animal print bangle. I have a really wide, really fat wrist, so don't judge that by anything. It should fit a normal person's wrist. Um, no maker's marks. So that's kind of cool. I can sell that. Animal print is in, if you didn't know. All right. Let's look at this chunky. Chunky monkey. That's my husband's favorite ice cream. Chunky monkey. All right. So this is a enamel type necklace with a clasp does have a hang tag and it is Anne Klein on that hang tag so that's really kind of cute let me check the front of it for condition it's got some yuckies on it but it's Cleanable. I think I can just wipe that off. Um, it's really in cute condition. I'll I'll sell that too. All right. Oh boy, what we have here? This is a cuff watch. Um, looks like it opens right here. It's marked China. And it is missing a couple stones in here, so I'm just going to put this in a craft lot. It doesn't really look like it's any name brand. So let's look at this one. This watch, the watch, the watch says Geneva. It doesn't really look like anything. Helps if I have it the right direction. Geneva watch. I don't think it's worth anything. So, crack pile. Let's find something pretty. There's an earring. I'm going to just kind of make a pile of earrings and when I see a match, then we'll go bingo! Hmm, what's that? really cute. This looks like a slice of something with little beads. Um, Some type of geode. My cameraman just talked. That's my husband, guys. He's humoring me. So, I don't think it's a geode. I think it's just like a slice of 
something. You can see through it. Can you see through that? If you put it in the camera position. Don't talk back to me on camera now. Down, right there. So I do see the kind of like a little um, crack in that thing. So I'm not going to sell it. That's going to need to go to a craft lot. I do not see any maker's mark. I will take my magnet to it though, just to, for curiosity sakes. Yeah. Okay. It magnetizes. So we're just going to put that to the side. <gasps> bingo. Bingo, bingo, bingo. We have a match. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. We have a match. These little clip on earrings. are cute. They honestly look like they might go with something else in this pile, so I'll just kind of put those there. All right, what is this? This is interesting. I like little baggies. When somebody put something in a bag, it means it might be worth something, huh? I don't see any marks. really cute just floral with pink rhinestone brooch really pretty cute I can sell that save my little baggies oh here is uh, another earring that looks the same and I see some stuff in here that might match it what is this These are cold to the touch, green beads with some carved rose. I don't know, would that be jade possibly? I don't know anything about jade. So help me out guys, tell me what that could be. Um, no maker's marks, which I wouldn't expect one, but um, nice little heavy necklace, I'll sell it. That's for sure. I think the rose is in good condition. I don't see anything wrong with the rose. Okay. Oh, bangle, bangle, bangle. Bangle, not marked, craft. Now here's a bangle cuff, really. Looks to be copper. It's engraved, a little etched, something like that. Um, Let's see if it magnetizes. No. We might need to see. Maybe it's not copper at all. Well, gonna... copper would not magnetize. I know that. But I'm saying maybe it could be silver. Because I don't can't really tell if that's tarnish or let me look in the loop. See if that's tarnish. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Let me just put it to the side. I'll maybe test it later. All right, what do we got here? Another watch. This is an interesting watch. This is a floral cuff watch. It still has the plastic little piece right on top, so the bezel is not even scratched. It doesn't appear to have a name. Actually, it does. It says AccuTime Watch Company and a model number. So I'll look it up. It's actually in new condition. If it works, I can sell it. Well, this is interesting. Long, slinky chain pearl this huge dangle pendant so it's got great color it's not worn at all the pearl is in good condition i don't see any maker's marks so you know it kind of reminds me of like ann klein or something but i can sell that
That is really cute. All right, so let's get rid of this stuff. What is this? What is this? This is not jewelry, even though it's trying to be. It does have a little heart on it, but I'm not feeling the fabric thing. Not feeling it, so we're gonna craft that. This looks like something that my son probably would have taken out of his car or truck. Um, but I do see some wording. This says Invicta, which I think that was a watch company, isn't it? Invicta? So it actually has some wording. Let me get my loop. Let me get my loop. Oh, it just says stainless steel and the model number and Invicta. But I do think that that's quite unique and um, I'll look it up. You never know. Um, it kind of hinges on two sides, so kind of hinges like that. So that looks kind of interesting for a guy. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. We've got some earring matches. These are nothing much, just brown hoopy dangles all right guys what else these would have matched those bracelets earlier that I put in craft it's a shame these are not marked either but these beads are just falling out so cute it's a shame craft. all right so we just have your basic seed bead necklace here. Doesn't excite me. I'm not going to sell it. Craft. All right. What is this? What this reminds me of? This reminds me of one of those tobacco baskets or whatever. It's always hanging on the side of the antique tobacco barns in North Carolina. It's the shape of it. Um, it's beaded. I guess this is a mother of pearl type shell or something. It's cute. Somebody will want that. I can sell that. Some tobacco barn loving something. My cameraman is getting angry at me for some reason. I'm not really sure why. But he can sell me anything. Alright, so we have some Florida State earrings. Those will sell. I can clean those. If anybody's interested in those, leave me a message below. Here is a bracelet that's from Hollister. So it's in good condition. Um, I don't really like it, but it's in good condition. I might try to sell it. We'll see. Here is a ring. No markings. It is magnetic. Um, craft. Earring. That's an earring. Okay, so it looks like we've got two matches on earrings here. These are cute. Let's see here what we got. Little black discs with some leaves on top. We'll sell those. Let me know if you like them. I don't see any makers, but that's okay. They're cute. What that is. Oh, okay. So we have fine silver plated from Kohl's and believe it or not, it does say $50 at Kohl's on the back of this thing. It says it down here on the card, but it also does say it on the back. 
I don't, I don't know. I'll have to research these. I kind of thought maybe it was like a $50 lie when they, you know, have a 90% off sale and you end up spending $5 for them or something. But, I don't know. Maybe there's something interesting there. That could be a potential. Oh, look at this. It's a little Hello Kitty adjustable ring. Oh, I think my granddaughter might like that. It's super cute. She has all her crystals. I'll, I will sell that, I think. I can sell that. Okay, let's see. We've got another watch here. This one is a Seiko. Seiko. A Seiko watch. Guys, in the Goodwill box. Look at that. I'll just have to put a battery in it and give it a try. It looks like it's in good condition. I think that could be a winner. Okay. What is this? What is this? That is too big for a, well, I don't know. Maybe I could get it around my neck. I don't know. I don't think I need to put this around my neck. It's it is adjustable. adjustable. Yes. I, I get that, honey. Thank you. I appreciate it. I can figure that out. We got the peanut gallery up there. Yeah, it's adjustable. I'm not loving it though, so I'm gonna put that in craft. If somebody wants to buy it, I'll get it out of the craft pile. Let me know. All right, what do we have here? What do we have here? This is some broken something or other, I do believe. Let's see. Um, maybe it's just twisted. It's just twisted. I wasn't broken. But I still don't need to sell these. They're just beads. That's a watch. Another watch. Let's look at the watch. Let's see about the watch which way the watch goes first. Okay, so it goes like this. It does have a cuff. It's cute. It's got some like coral colored stones. Um, I don't see any maker, so I'll have to investigate that. Mm -hmm. Well, you think that is fake? Something or other? I think so. Okay, we have a set of earrings here, people. These are cute. These kind of look like um, uh, mesh kind of thing, but they're hoops. Let's see if we have any maker on them. They remind me of something like in the 80s, I would have worn like Monet or something. Those are cute. There's no maker on them, but they're certainly in good condition, so I can sell those. Oh, bangle, bangle, bangle. Let's see if you're magnetable. Boop. Bye. All right, speaking of bangles, what in the world is this? What in the world is this? What is this? I don't need you. Crap. Oh. There's an earring, and it matches that if we can find the other earring. It's not looking promising. All right, let's see what we got here. This is got crossbones. This has got to be some sort of, I don't know mythical something or other. I couldn't tell you what any of this is on this thing. Oh, it says Disney, so I guess I will investigate it later. Um, maybe y'all can tell me what things those are. There's crossbones and a little crown. Um, let me 
see that. I'm not sure. It says Disney. Hey, I almost threw you in the craft pile, but we will check you out later. That's an earring. Ooh, these are fancy, fancy earrings. Okay, so these are your basic $2 Dollar Tree earrings. They gotta be. We're gonna just put this in the craft pile because I am not feeling those. We will get to those earrings in that pile a little later. These are cute. These are little heart dangle. They remind me of Brighton. They're metal scroll work if I can actually hold them. I don't know if I can hold them. Let's just try one. All right, so I don't see any markings on it, but it is cute. It's a earring that dangles a little bit. There's no markings on them, so I don't think that they're silver or anything. They're not silver, oops. But I could sell those little hearts. Everybody likes a good heart. I'm not seeing this little dude anywhere, but we'll try. We will try. All right, so let's just get these pearls out of the way. I have no idea about pearls, but this is a multi-chain, multi-layer. goes like this so it would be yeah like that on you um, don't see any maker okay let's see what it says actually I do see a maker this is Marvella. There is a tiny maker's mark right there. Marvella, I have a pair of pearl earrings right now up for sale on Poshmark that are Marvella. So actually, that's the second time I've seen that maker. I don't know anything so about real? No, I don't think they're real. I just think that they're a good costume maker. Um, you know, I don't know. No, they're not real, but they're real cute. All right, you, bangle doodle. Bangle, you're a trash bangle. All right, here is a copper bracelet. It says, life is a journey, not a destination. And it's kind of stamped out. Um, probably sell it. it needs a little cleaning up but I can sell that okay we got some winner winner chicken dinners here is some cute little pink dangle earrings we got a match let me make sure they're oh they got that cute little cute little flower on them and then a pearl drop I like that flower this is your cute flower okay I can sell you Cameraman, please don't yawn on my video. Interrupting your nap, darling. What is it, three o'clock? Oh, it's past your nap time, it's four o'clock. All right, so here's earrings. They put them in a plastic bag, which is supposed to make you think they're something, but I don't think they're anything. They're not marked. Not marked. And not, I guess that piece is, but not that piece. They're not anything anyway. I'm just going to craft those. I'll put them in the bag so somebody else can keep them together. All right. I saw this earring. Let's find you. Where are you, earring? Here you are. Are you all there? Okay. We have a winner, winner, chicken dinner. We have some chandelier earrings. Green, 
beaded chandelier earrings. Those are cute. Let me make sure that there's no 14 karat mark or anything. I like to think that they put these kind of hooks on the nicer pieces. But there's no marks, but we'll sell those. Let me hook them together so I don't lose them. Okay. All right, so let's see what else we got. Ooh, these are fancy. Fancy, fancy. We have a winner, winner, chicken dinner. We have two orangey tangerine lucite. They're not stone, they're definitely light. Um, they're cute. I could probably sell those. What do we have here? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh-oh, that's my phone. All right, so here is a green, uh, stretchy, beaded, um, I think that's a stone cabochon maybe, or maybe it's acrylic, I don't know. But it's cute, I don't see any maker's mark, but, um, it's definitely cute, green, in decent shape. So I could sell that. Here we have your basic stretchy bracelet uh, craft. All right, let's get some more pearls out of the way. Ooh, these are really long ones. Looky, looky how long they are. Man. Let's see, I probably donated these, they're so long. I had a pair like this back in the day. Um, wow, they're in really good shape. They're definitely not real. Um, but yeah, I mean, I could sell those. They're in terrific shape. They're beaded, a really long, multiple chain. I can sell those. All right, so here's an, here's an earring match. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. These are like little hoopy doopies, little hoopy doopies. Um, kind of, they remind me of like gymnast rings. They're kind of inside of each other. Um, those are cute. Let's see if there's any makers. They're not real gold or anything like that. No, those are cute. I could sell those. Okay, what is this? This is interesting. These look to be like antique coins. It's got a really interesting clasp here. Um, the coins look to be double-sided, kind of Roman, I would say. So let's go in and see if we can see any maker. The gold, you know, the gold tone is not in terrific condition unless it was made to be like that. I don't see any maker's marks, but it's kind of hard to tell when all these coins are going. Oh, here, here it is. This is KJL, Kenneth J. Lane. So I can sell this, um, it's very cute. Put it with your little black dress and you got some money, honey. All right, so that's cute. All right, what do we have here? Okay, so we've got a necklace. Clasps like that. It's cute, it's in good condition. I would say good condition, all the stones are there. Um, let me see if there's any maker's marks. Probably in this class, but they're going to be anywhere. No. And then, look at that. There's two earrings that go with it. Let me see if the earrings are ma uh, marked. No. No. So those are cute. I could sell these. Earring and necklace set. That's sellable. 
All right, so here is a stretchy braided, um, kind of like diamond shape. I see a mark here. It looks like it's got um, a crown. So I don't know if that crown is Premier Designs or whether it is Crown Trafari, probably more like Prince, um, Premier Designs. But I'll look that up later and see. Let's see if it's, no, yeah, doesn't magnetize. It's not marked silver though, so I highly doubt that it is. Um, so I'll investigate that. All right, so we're almost done here. Um, this is a little Disney wristband. It's broken, so we'll just put that in the craft anyway. All right, we got some more earrings matched. Winner, winner, chicken dinners. All right, so these are hoops. So I guess they kind of are worn this way. Um, those are cute, those are sellable. They've got little chain danglings with more beads on them. So they kind of actually remind me of those. I might put those together in a lot. All right, here we have a Florida Gator UNF pin. Um, any Florida Gators out there? I just sold some Florida Gator earrings, but this is your basic Florida Gator pin, uh, lapel pin. He's cute. I don't know what I'll do with him yet. Maybe I'll get more sometime. Let's see. I think my husband is yawning again and he really needs to, to take a nap. So I'll try to finish up really fast. All right, so we got some matches here on these earrings. Uh, let's see if I can get them going in the right direction. Those are cute. I can sell those. Kind of like a um, amber, brownish, orange. All right, here's another match. I got a lot of good, you know, matches on this. I mean, they're not terrific earrings, but they're they're sellable. I'll get my money back on this, I'm pretty sure. So those are little chandelier earrings. There's no marking on those. Those will sell. All right, what else we got here? Oh, these actually look very similar to that other gold set. I think I'll probably put all three of them in a lot then because they all look kind of symbol of similar they're dangly um these have chains so i'll probably put those and those and those together they kind of all kind of go together all right oh these are cute i like these these are little sea urchins with like green little beads in them very texturized earrings. Um, they're really super cute. I like them. All the beads are there. No maker's marks. Pretty sure they're... They would be marked if they were gold. I'm pretty sure I don't think those are real, but they're super cute. I will sell those. Oh, okay, here we go. This is an anklet. For South Carolina, new on the card. And thank goodness they told me that it's an anklet because I never would have known that. All right, so let's see what we got on these earrings here. Almost done. These I'm not gonna take out. They look cute, they're beaded. They will sell. Winner, winner, any more chicken dinners? Oh. This is cute. This is a bracelet. Can you see that? It's kind of like blue, silver tone. Um, there is a maker's mark and it is doo -doo -doo, Premier Designs. So I will sell that. Kind of reminds me of like blue jeans and denim. Um, yeah, that's cute. We can sell that. Uh, any other match? Oh, here's another match. Here we go. I'm really having a hard time holding these little earrings today. These are cute. 
I'll sell these. I like put a little group together of chandelier earrings if nobody wants them individually, but these look like they have all their stones. Definitely cute. This has no match. This has no match. This has no match. This looks interesting, although it has no match. This does say patent pending. Um, I may just keep that for a single earring, try to see if something else shows up. All right, we have a Radiate Positive Vibes lapel pin. I think I am going to probably just that in the craft pile what do you think I'm not feeling it all right so we have one other missing earring that's a shame because that is the match to this thing if we had the earring to that I will keep it though just in case it shows up you never know um, stranger things have happened but um, so really the only thing we have that is not matched, I don't know what this one too, is this earring, which honestly is in bad condition anyway. It's not anything I want to deal with. And let's see what this is. This is the last thing we're going to look at, guys. Hmm. Okay. It is a triple strand necklace with a pearl on the bottom. Let me go in and see if there's any markings. I do not see any markings. Um, so yeah, I can sell that. Those are really cute. Really cute choker there. So that was the last item, um, guys. So thank you so much for tuning in. And I will get some more Goodwill boxes and share with you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.